Hello, teacher. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. I'm um, uh, sorry. Be, uh, yesterday I couldn't get the connection. <laughs> So yes, I, I have emergency work. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But everything okay today? Okay, uh, today it's, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Are you there? Yeah. Good evening. All right. We have Eduardo. Okay, yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes or no, class? It's hot today. Yes. 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 Okay. Too too hot. <laughs> a little, a little like San Miguel, no? Yes, like San Miguel. But the the, the difference is uh, because San Miguel is a, is more. Um, um, uh, more the is is a uh, more uh, the, the 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 most more, uh, I don't know what's um uh, is 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 uh, is um humid uh, humidity yes yes San yes. Miguel is more humid more humid yes it's true yes it is true yes all right there's Gio. What's up, Gio? Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. How is life treating you? Um, this day was hot as hell, man. That's what we're mm. talking about. Is <laughs> what? Yeah, it was terrible. Man, is this normal? I don't think so. <laughs> it's supposed that at nine, it, uh, it has to be at 25. 25 but right now we are at 20 let me see 24 mm -hmm. 82 percent humid humidity four miles per hour winds can you imagine that Man, I can't imagine in in August, maybe the the oh. five or seven August gonna be burning hell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. All right. So um besides that, everything normal? Yeah. Yeah work it's the same mm, not, not. You, you still work in publicity correct mm, no and well um, you work in in B, bpx bpx no graphic mm. graphic designer i don't i i, yeah. I, I remember it. yes bbdo bbdo yes mm -hmm. But it's like it's like publicity, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. For you, which are the best commercials? Uh, always uh, the the Canis commercial. <laughs> which ones? The 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 commercial the show in Canis Canis. Oh, okay, in Canis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and. My favorite uh, it has to be the the Super Bowl Super commercials. Bowl. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. It's not like the commercials here, huh? Not at all. <laughs> A man in the bus gets diarrhea. Oh, and the mariachis. <laughs> I got the... I got the... <laughs> and I said, oh my God, really, man? <laughs> I can't imagine how, how could you get to the client and sell this idea. I, I always ask myself, okay, there's two things here. Uh -huh. Somebody studied <laughs> and somebody uh -huh. says, okay, please, um, they hire um, a company 
And I imagine this company, this person must have studied marketing or publicity or something. And then, okay, here, I have what is perfect for you. Look at this commercial. Okay, so that's that's the number one bad part. The second is the person, I like it. I accept it. Mm -hmm. And it's, always, mm -hmm. there's one thing always I, I think is the that the, the client always have uh, I like to do something like this and you have to do something like that. Yes. You know? I want this, but not the same, but but the same, you know, and, and yeah. you. But they, no they, to... they don't give you liberty. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. The majority. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I remember that. I got that. It's like, have you know, when I drive, when I drive, I, I listen to the radio because um, I don't know. Now, now a lot of people talk on the radio, but I listen to some commercials on the radio and I think, oh my God. I think, I think co commercials in the radio, they should be more creative because, yeah. but it's like, oye, Juan, me voy a ir en la próxima caravana a Estados Unidos y con mi hijo. No, Juan, no lo hagas. Que no sabes que es muy peligroso. No me importa. Yo quiero una mejor vida. Es como que en una toma le hicieron, like, ok, tú lees, tú lees. I see. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Aquí está. It's like, really, man? Una, it's really necessary to read that conversation because, oh, hey, look, I'm, I'm I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. hello, Michelle. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, well, I think I'm fine. Michelle, are you wearing a sweater? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, mosquitoes? Uh, Why? <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> really? Uh, you're not hot? The thing is that there are a lot of mosquitoes and I hate them, so I better you know, cover them. Oh, okay. Do you know what is the best trick for mosquitoes? I do this and it always works. Do you have any any yeah. tricks for mosquitoes? Um, no. No. Okay. Do you know pina sol? Uh, yeah. But <laughs> pina sol, not the imitation one. Like pina sol is like a little bottle, like three dollars. It's very expensive because if you use pina sol to mop, in two days you finish. But what I recommend to you is get the pinasol and put that spray thing on it. Okay, this, the smell of pinasol is very strong. I like the smell. And spray it on the corners of your, of your room, just mm -hmm. on the corners. Mm -hmm. Like for example, before you go to bed, like, like right now, go to your room and you spray on, on the corners of, 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 the, of the wall and close the door, I promise you, no mosquitoes. I will do it. Yes, it's, I, I, my mom, my mother taught me that trick because my mother, she really hated, she was like allergic to mosquitoes. And it, but my mother was the other way around. My mother mopped with pinasol, always. And I said one day, man, me salen muy caros to mosquitoes, you know, because <laughs> I have to mop all the time. So what I did is I started spraying on the wall and the smell, because the mosquitoes are usually in the ceiling and on the wall, right? If you spray, and even in your living room, spray. I tell people, like, when they come and visit me, do you want to see, like, no mosquitoes? And I, and so see, the, the, the smell is very strong. Very but strong. I like, I, but I like the smell. <laughs> so try that. It's good. Because, you know, mosquitoes, they don't like strong smell. Yeah. Yes, they don't like that. So that's what you should do, you know. Watch. And but please don't wear a sweater, Michelle, because <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, there's Jaime, Yanira, and Daddy. 
Hello, Hyman. Hello. How are you today? Mm -hmm. Great. Great. We were you, don't look, you don't look good. happy. Yes, yeah. I was going to say, you don't look great. <laughs> no, that's good. No, oh, there you go. Good. There. There is Hyman. Great. great. I'm great. No, no okay. problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ricardo, oh. what happened, Ricardo? It's fine. <laughs> all the time you are a smile, right? All the, all the time, all the time. Eh? We, we have to enjoy the life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you gotta enjoy life. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, and Madeline. Okay, so remember yesterday we were doing a used to, Good right? evening, teacher. And Hi, classes. Madeline. How are you, Madeline? Very good. I am starting uh, all the the um, presentations, but I I have a uh, questions, but in later I will okay. ask. Perfect, no problem. Good. All right. So let's do, so yesterday we were doing I used to right. Yes, remember I used to. Yes, yes. 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 What? When do we use I used to, or I would. So so that they usually uh, use or in in past activity. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. You're you're there. You're getting there. You're getting there. What else? But remember, most importantly, is that I used to. It's an action. You did in the past habitually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. You did that action in a habitual action, not necessarily frequently, maybe seldom, but yeah. that action repeated. But if you only did that action one time, it's not a used to. That's simple past. That is that is specific to have a, a repeated a more than a more than yes. a time. It's like when I was a little kid, I went to Miami because mm -hmm. I only went one time. Mm -hmm. But if I frequently went like once a year or every two years, I would say when I was a little kid, I used to go to Miami. All right. So that's. that's I, 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 I said I used to travel uh, uh, other countries or other countries uh, before of the of pandemic. Exactly. Yes. I used, I used to travel. I used to travel too. I used to travel too. Uh -huh. Other country the before pandemic. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if you have a question, for example, I think in, I think would you can use it in the future. For example, I can say if I won if I won the lottery, I will go to, uh, to Miami every year. You can say that. Yes, but those are conditionals. That, that's yes, you're right. I mean, but that's a hypothetical situation, you know. If because you're saying if, so yeah. it's not a real, it's not a real situation. Okay. But it could be. You, you, it could be. But it, but it use a condition. I don't know if you. Use yes, be, yes, because every time you use can, could. Okay, you know what? Let's do one thing before we continue. I want to teach you the conditionals. Let me open my word pad. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I've been listening to this band for a long, long time, and every time I like them more. Okay, this here. Do you see my my page? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have conditionals. I think we did this once. Can. Remember negative? Can. 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 Cannot. Can. Cannot. Can't. Yeah. Can't. What is can? Oh, ability or to, to do something. Yes, very good. Can is an ability. Yes. Can is an ability. For example, Madeline, can you drive? Uh, what did you say, teacher? Can you drive? Can I uh, can you drive? Yes, I, I can. Okay, good. 
Driving is an ability because not everybody can, correct? Um, Janita, can you dance? Mm, yes. Yes. Not very yes, well, sure. but I can dance. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, you can dance. All right, good. Dancing is an ability. Yes. So, a yes. teacher, uh, I have a question. Sure. I, uh, in my, in my studies, I remember uh, when you are pronunciation the verb. Uh, I, I remember can or can't, but you are uh, speaking can and can't. It's other, it's other way. But I, I don't know what is the, is that that true. Is can or can? Can. Can. Yeah, como con can. 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 I can't stop loving you. Van Halen. And what is the meaning can? That's what we're doing right now. Can is an ability. When you say yes, I can or no, I can't. What is an ability? Driving is an ability. Dancing is ability, no? Yes, I understand. But okay. my question, yeah. my question. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Madeline. My my question is, what is the meaning can? Can, but you tell me can. Uh, what is the meaning can? But it's no, it's I not the same. I don't know what can is. Can you spell can? Can't. I, in my mind, can, can't. Yeah. But I, the teacher mm -hmm. said is can, can't. This is okay. a, this is the pronunciation, right? The pronunciation. The pronunciation. Uh -huh. She's talking about the pronunciation. She, she asking what is yes. correct. You say can or can. <laughs> yes, as this is my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the correct is can because can't, no, it's can. Okay. Yes, I can. Can, can, es lata. Yeah, también. También. <laughs> can, can, the, but it's lata is the same when you write can, it's the same. Yes. Can is yes. the verb uh, poder, uh, yes. it's the same, but when you are writing, but uh, the pronunciation is different. No, it's the same. Can. Can. I can drive in a soda can. I can drive in. Okay, I can. I can drive in. I, uh, I can drive. I can drive. I can the, drive, yes. <laughs> I can drive. Okay, it's the yeah. same. Can yes. or can. Yes. The negative is can't. And can't. But you have to pronounce the T, can't. All right, so for example, Giovanni, tell me something you can't do. You I can't to say can. I can't, no, I can't to say can't. <laughs> yes, I'm can't. sorry. No, it's okay, can't. And I can I can I can you, dance. No, you, you simply you, you simply digo nosotros separamos tenemos este gesto de o y este you know that ese gesto eso pongo al final can't 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 come on maybe can to prepare up how to prepare a beer maybe <laughs> okay wait wait uh, Gio I, can you play the guitar I yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you play the drums? Uh, yes, I can. Can you play the bass? Yes, I can. Can you play the piano? Yes, maybe a no, little. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, I but can. no, he says I can, I can a little. But I can, I can sing I can, a song. Yeah. Can you play the I'm trumpet? Just that. I, I can make a composition in, in that. All right, can you play the trumpet? Trumpet. Mm, I try. Are you serious? Wait, okay, wait, hold on. Can you play the violin? Yes. Oh my God. 
Why you can't uh, play? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's for my uncle. My uncle played the violin, so I I I think was the first thing I interested in music. <laughs> and you play the accordion? Yeah. <laughs> uh, not at all. The accordion is this one. I can't. <laughs> Oh, okay. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can play chanchona? Yeah. <laughs> can you? Can you? Man, that, that, that's really fun, man. Yeah. Chanchona can you play the shell? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I like chanchona de Arcario, man. They're good. I, I think it's the same, just with, with the. How the name of the varita? I don't know. I, always I don't know. Batuta? No. No. Okay, no, so but, listen, that's the one. but if you listen, Gio can play every instrument, but he can't play the accordion. Okay. He says that he can and can't, can, can't, can, can't. I mean, right? it's right. Yeah. Oh, man, thanks, God. <laughs> yes, it's raining good. It's raining, yeah. Thank you, yes. God. Raining black. <laughs> okay, next we have could. Okay. Good. Is in the past of the of can. Yes. Good. Good is the past of can. Past. Yanira, are you okay? <laughs> no, no, because. In this moment, I'm repairing the, the big door in, in the house because I hit my car again, the, the door. Oh. Okay, oh. but it's, it's not somebody knocking in your door and you know, like, open the door. Oh, yes, they, they are repairing the, the, the door because I hit my car again. Oh. Wow. Again. <laughs> wow. Again. <laughs> yeah, I, I like her honesty again. <laughs> okay. So could and couldn't. Couldn't. Um, couldn't. Couldn't. Yeah, couldn't. It's the same thing of can and can't. The only difference is past. Okay. And I yes, think I, I can... know. Could, couldn't. Could, couldn't. In future, we'll be able. I guess that. I know. I will. Yeah, but you can't use could in, in future. Because it's strictly past. Like when I was a little kid, I could, I could run one mile in seven minutes. Una mía, I could run one mile in seven minutes. And said, for me that was good. Now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Now I drive. Hey, David. You yeah. Can, you can use could when you ask for something too. I remember when you said, yes. could you please uh, send me the mail or something like that? Yes. Uh -huh. I was going to say that can, could, and would at the long run is also to ask permission. Could you? Yeah. Can you? Would you? All right. And next we have would. Do you remember would? Uh, yes. yes. It's a conditional. It's a conditional. This is Eduardo's question. Yeah. Could yeah. and. You sure, Ricardo? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. I mean uh, uh, Eduardo no, you brought... made sure. You made sure, Ricardo. No problem. Yeah. No, no. Eduardo brought this up. I mean, uh, oh, wait. I did something wrong. I uh, wouldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a hypothetical situation. This is a, 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 this doesn't exist, but it could. So what would you do with $1 million? I, I would, would like to, I would like to stay here. In El Salvador? I would donate my money if I had $1 million. I could be traveling to the to the moon. But you can't travel to the moon with one million dollars. Yes. No, I, I think the ticket is like four million. 
Yeah. Ah, one million. Eh? With, with million, then no problem. Eh? <laughs> yeah. You know, no, maybe like within he, two minutes, he, okay, buy us the key. It's hypothetical, hypothetical, no? Yeah. yeah, it's true. But really, you would, you would, you would go, you, you would like to go to the moon? Yes. I wouldn't. I would never do Yeah, that. I would like to do nothing to you need to discover what happened in the moon. Nothing, nothing. Else. Yeah, but imagine what what are you going to do in the moon? If, if, if you have if you have enough money, what right. happened? Yeah, it <laughs> like I guess best. Okay, yeah, no, I no, I understand. But imagine, imagine you're in the moon in this moment. What what is there to do for fun? Whoa. Yeah. But you can do that here. It's, yeah. experience. It's, 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 like, it's, a, it's a unique experience in your life. It's like my wife. My wife tells me she her dream is to go on a cruise. <laughs> she wants to go on a cruise. I would never go it's to a cruise. It's raining so hard here. The what? It's raining hard there. Here it it's rained a little so bit. Hard. Here it the only rained two minutes. I can hear the that. Internet is not good, teacher. Yes, I, I, we can hear. <laughs> you can, you know, like my wife, her dream is to go on a cruise in a in a in a big ship in a boat. I will never do that. Why? Because, I mean, it's like you're in a hotel in the middle of the of the ocean. <laughs> because imagine, a cruise has a swimming pool. It has a casino. It has a discotheque. You could do that and land. Yeah. And, and not yeah. worried about that you're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, you have a good point. Yeah. So I tell my wife, you know, but everything you do in a, I mean, it's pretty much what you can do in a hotel. So, and that's an excuse, so, you know, because they're expensive. It's an excuse. It's oh, my it's God. It's an excuse, Davey. It's an excuse, and it's a very good excuse, too, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you understand wood, yes? It's it's an yeah. it's a, an action that's not real. It's not a real action, but it could happen. But you need a condition, and that's your condition. I would do this if I had this. Yes. Okay. Oh, um, listen. Today, I I found out about a new method of of um of selling cars so you you have to be careful mm -hmm. i'm a fraud a fraud fraud do you know what is a pawn shop no oh. i don't know the words teacher Ah, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. La, co the history. la cornucopia. No, la, la cornucopia <laughs> is a pawn shop. Yes. Okay. Um, presto. Realice. Those are pawn shops. Okay. I love pawn shops. I, I like to buy things in pawn shops frequently. I frequently buy things in pawn shop. They're, they're very good, good, good. Um, buenos, buena cosa, mm -hmm. But they it's were right. telling, they were explaining to me that what's happening now, okay, pawn is a verb, okay? Mm -hmm. So what people are doing now, people are pawning their cars. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's say, for example, I have a, a Ford Escape and I want to pawn my car. And I ask them, how much can you give me for my car? And they say, okay, we'll give you $6,000. Okay, good. Uh, they ask me, and, they, and really be careful. So tell people that you know, okay? So then the pawn shop tells me, do you want to park the car here or you want to continue using the car? And I say, no, I want to continue using the car. Okay, then we put a, a GPS, GPS. 
and say, okay, no problem, no problem. So we do the paperwork and I pawn my car, they gave me the money and I still drive my car, good? Now, what happens is tomorrow I sell my car. So I sell my car to Gio. Uh, uh, hey, Gio, so you like my car? Yeah, how much? Give me 8,000. No, I'll give you seven. No, ah, démosle pues here. Boom, boom, boom. And then Gio checks. And instead of trasen, everything is normal. So, okay, we do the paperwork. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. So yesterday I pawned my shop, my car for six thousand dollars, and today I sold them that car for seven thousand dollars, and I will disappear. So what happens is that the pawn shop—it's not the pawn shop's fault. I mean, they they do everything legal, but what happens is, I was I was talking to them and I tell them, so what is the problem? And they tell me. What we do, what the pawn shop does is, when you give us your information, we notify Sertracen. The notifican. Hey, mm -hmm. this car, you know, they send the paperwork y todo. But Sertracen takes from three to seven to nine days to do the update. Imagine. So more than a week. So during that week, I will sell my car because if you check, the car is still under my name. Yeah. Y no aparecer como prenda. So um, I saw that I saw that a lot of in in Facebook. You know, people talking about that. And today I went to a pawn shop. Porque uh, I bought a camera. So then the the pawn shop. Goes to the person that have the car and take it. No, the pawn shop doesn't do anything. It's not their fault. They don't take the car. Okay, so imagine, Gio, imagine I am the pawn shop. Yes? Yeah. And you bring your car. And I say, what do you have? A Toyota 2015. Okay, okay I'll give you 5,000. Is that okay? And Gio, you say, okay. But Gio, you tell me, but I want to continue using the car. Oh, okay, no problem. So you sign... The only condition I will give to you is that we have to put a GPS on the car. I mean, imagine que otras cosas, you know, like if, if the car crash or I go whatever. Okay, Gio. Yes, yes. So Gio comes. Firma el contrato. Here's your money. The only difference is Gio that now you will have your car with a GPS. But I don't take your your circulation. Yeah. No tomo nada. You 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 continue with the same paperwork. What I do with your signature in the contract, I send it to Sertrasen. Yes, but Sertrasen will take three to five to nine days to update that. So Sertrasen will pass the card not not to Giovanni Martinez, sino que es prenda en calidad de prenda. Pero como la semana o de días. So during that week, Gio sells his car to Ricardo. Mi pobre Ricardo, compre el carro. Yeah. Y Ricardo, hasta me dijeron, Ricardo can still say, hey, but it's my car, aquí está la compra y venta. Oh, okay, good, pero the pawn shop siempre lo va a tener como prenda y no lo va a soltar until they receive the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, maybe el Ministerio de Transporte o algo no se ha percatado esta nueva estafa. They will soon. So, if you plan to buy a car, please be very, very careful. Yes. Okay. What I think, what I think the pawn shop should do is, okay, um, me va a dar su tarjeta de circulación. Mm -hmm. And I send it to Sertrasen. Yeah. Y la va a tener que ir a traer a Sertrasen. And when I, when I get it there, 
now it's going to be different. It's going to be as Brenda. Nice, it's raining hard. Wow, did you hear that? No, yeah, yeah. it's raining hard. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to know a trick? How do you know when it's going to rain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned this when I was a little kid, right? The thunder. Ah, uh, yeah. You count. And, yeah, you count. Two. Yeah. Like right, uh, right now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. First is the lightning, right? Yeah. The lightning. Yeah. And when you see, yes, when you see the lightning count the seconds, like lightning, you see the lightning now and then one, two, three, four, five, maybe in the sixth second, you hear the thunder. Boom. So in six minutes, it's going to rain. Um, and it works. It really works. Um, Daddy, I see somebody behind you. No, don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 oh, wow. I saw, I saw, did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I saw lightning behind you. Count. Yeah, lightning, yes, but someone know me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. My son has been in this room today. I bought a very cool skull mm. with with mm. with uh, two mice coming out of the eyes, yeah. and I don't have it. So he took it. Mm. Okay, so let's go back to the book. So um, so remember, be careful with that fraud on on pawn shops now. Okay, but but it, it, it's I mean. I give credit to people that make frauds, man. Se <laughs> that's yeah. a good. That's a good method. That's a good method. All right. Um. So I used to. I used to. I used to. Okay. Let's see here. Let me share the screen with you. All right. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how hot it is, but I will always drink coffee. Mm. Okay, it says knowledge check. Let's do it together. It says instructions. Look at the following picture. Complete the sentences with used to or would. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Just type the word. No capital letter or period is needed. Okay. So what is the difference between I used to and would? Is it the same or is it different? Same. It's the same. So what's the difference? Um, when you want to be more specific or more details. More details? Mm -hmm. You say what? used to, right? Used to, used to. <laughs> No. The more detail. Yeah. Yeah. When you want to be like more short and simple, you just say would. Would. Or vice versa, but really that, that would be the difference. All right, let's do it. So it says. The first year of high school, I wasn't a very good student. Eduardo, where do you live? I live near Antigua Plan. I heard the same exact thunder in my house. I heard it in you. <laughs> okay. So yeah. we are we are near. Yeah. Where, hey, where, where, you, you told me that you live in uh, Lourdes, didn't you? No, no, I live near uh, the Hawar, Paso del Hawar. Oh, so we are near almost near. Yeah, because I just heard the thunder and then I heard you. So <laughs> okay. Or maybe yeah, a whole San Salva. Did did you hear that thunder class? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Ricardo didn't, right? You in so oh, yes, yes. So in Ilopango. You heard that thunder in Ilopango? No, no. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. you see, there you go, Eduardo. Yeah. Not here. Not here, yes. In Ilopango, no, no, no here. Who's that man behind Gary, man? That no, piece. don't tell me that. <laughs> okay, I won't tell you that. But he has a I, very, very white face. So I have my defender, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're definitely safe. <laughs> Okay, so one more time it says, the first year of high school, I wasn't a very good student. I used to think school was boring. I remember my classmates. I, I used to yes, go. Yes, It's a wool, wool, wool oh, or oh, used to, it's, it's the same. It's the same. The same, yes. I, I remember my, my classmates would go to the library or used to go to the library and work on projects or study. But I, I used, to I used to go to the video arcade instead. I would go right after class and I would spend, remember, I mean, they're both correct. Yes. I would spend two and a half hours there. I knew I was smart, so um, I knew I was smart so I wasn't really worried smart. about my grades. My mom really? used to have a job, used to have a job, so she never knew what time I would get home. One day I had to go to the principal's office. He said, you would be a great student. Now your grades are terrible, explain. That was a real work, a uh, wake up call. Break of another thunder. After that, after that, I would be at the library most nights with my with my classmates. Now, my kids are in high school. I tell them about all the silly things I would do when I was their age. <laughs> okay, now I see two faces, Cuddy. <laughs> okay, well, so the windows uh, is closed. <laughs> yeah, that's the strange part, but it's not behind the windows, like right on your shoulder. <laughs> How do you say azotar when the rain is azotando? Explain what is azotar. Asustando, tal vez. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know when it's all a pair of uh, hands. Thank you. Yeah, when the rain uh, hits your your windows yeah. and the water came into your room. But you say, uh, in Spanish, you say, está azotando. Yes, okay, thank you. Blowing. Blowing, okay. Blowing. Now, I have a question. That The, the reason why I ask you what azotar is, that's a very good um way of... of Practicing your English because I know what azotar is, yeah, but I just want I wanted you to explain to me because that's that's when you you know you be more creative you know when, when you start explaining the word. Okay. All right. Okay. So. So in conclusion, I used to and I would. It's more simple, right? So um, I can say this. I'll give you a perfect example. When I was a little kid. My sister, my sister used to study a lot and I would watch movies. All right. So I, I don't give a lot of importance that I would watch movies. I mean, that was the point, I would watch movies. Or I can say when I was a little kid, my, my sister used to study and I used to get the money, go to Blockbuster, rent movies, and watch all the movies. But if you see, I gave you a longer story, but I said I, I used to. If I want to reduce that, I just say I would. Yeah, my sister used to study, and I would watch TV. Yes? Uh, when I was dating my wife, when I was dating my wife, I remember our second date, we went to watch 
I'm sorry, Rambo. I'm sorry, Rambo, if Rambo's listening. <laughs> we went to watch Sex in the City. <laughs> Our take class tomorrow. Yes. Can you imagine? <laughs> and Why I would, not too? <laughs> I don't know. It was like a very stupid story that <clears throat> I just remember this woman, she was unfaithful to her husband. Okay, and she what's that gun? Okay, it was so stupid because she felt bad. And listen to this. You know what the husband did? He said, no, I forgive you because you were unfaithful because it was my fault. Oh. I did not treat you like I should. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but I would pretend like the movie was interesting. I would, hmm. You know, but in my mind, I, I was thinking like, what the hell am I doing? I must really like her because I am in the movies watching Sex in the City. <laughs> But you know, only one time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. No. I I would go to church. Hmm? Yeah. When I started dating my wife, I would go to church. Hmm. Every Sunday, I used to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I went three times. Okay. You see, a man has to do what a man has to do. And women don't appreciate that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. So that's the difference between I used to and I would. Yes? Yes. You know what I would do? Remember a long time ago that the refill of uh, popcorn was free mm. in Cinemark or something? Yeah, it was free. Like, um, if you buy the big the big box, you go back and they refill it for you. Yeah, that's true. So I remember I would, I would go in, and when the people were coming out, I would tell them, "Hey, dame la caja," and they gave me the box. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh so my I would God. I would go in, wait for the movie to start, then I would go out. Hey, excuse me, and they refill my box. No. Yeah. <laughs> but alone or with your your <laughs> Imagine. Hey, dame la ca. <laughs> yeah, I, I would do that. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Uh, no, but you know, I I I would I would make an excuse. Uh -huh. Like would you like me? Mira, quiere que le bote eso. Ahí está el basurero, se lo voy a botar. <laughs> Man. Wow. Oh my God. I would buy the chores and put them in my socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and so when the movie started, I, I took out the chores and <laughs> but now now I hear that there are cameras in the movie, so they catch you. Uh, I don't know, that's what I heard. But in, in that time, it was, everything was easy. <laughs> yeah, but I, I remember I would do that. Um, or, you know, I, if si miraba un, un chavo, you know, like, uh, la onda, like, hey, um, can I have your box? Si veo yeah. much. But if I went with a girl, <laughs> mm -hmm. what I would do is, um, we would, you know, go and hey, let's go sit down, baby. And you know, hey, do you want popcorn? See, si. okay. So then I would go out and wait for somebody to come out with the box. <laughs> uh, yeah. So good tricks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going mm -hmm. to pass those tricks to my son someday. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you ever do anything bad like that? No. No. <laughs> you know what? You know what I did one time, but this is I can't say I used to because I only did it one time, but it worked. I don't know now. I have not. I promise you, I have not gone to the movies maybe in ten years, because now I download them. 
Have you gone to the movies recently? So when you buy a ticket, do they give you one ticket or just the receipt? Just the, the receipt. receipt. They still the give you the receipt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like if I go for three people, they give me one little receipt. They give you three receipts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Back then, no, they only gave you like one normal receipt and at the bottom it said one, two or three people. So one time I saw that and I said, hmm, okay. So one time I went with a girl I was dating and her best friend because women always take their best friend. Mm -hmm. But secretly I only bought one ticket. So, but they never saw me, they never saw me. So I bought the ticket and when we were walking, I said, okay, person, person, you know. <laughs> You know, so when they passed, I gave the ticket to the person. When the person was looking at it, I immediately asked them a question. Mira, and this this subtitle or it's only full English? I forgot what movie it was. I, let's say it was Titanic, right? I said, is mm -hmm. this subtitle or it was only English? And then immediately he he took his eyes from the from the bill, from the receipt. Oh, no, no, it's subtitle. He just signed a subtitle. Pasa adelante. <laughs> so I never I never let him watch how many people it was. So I only paid one and three came in for free. <laughs> so it was a good trick. But I don't know if you could do that now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're in lesson two now. At the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use relative clauses and non clauses in the same sentence. This is going to be interesting. Let's watch the video now. Hi, let's keep on talking about relative clauses. Can you hear? This time, they can occur yes. the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can't stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. That is the school which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who? is the subject, whom, the object, meaning people, which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom, or which, where, when, and why, gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. 
The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Who is used instead of they? Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. WH ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is Shakira formal, song. and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subjects of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell is okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, notice the structure. Subject plus a verb plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie is a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clause plus verb plus object. Object noun. All right. Easy, no? <laughs> it was a lot of information. Yeah. yeah. A lot of information. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's make it easier. Ricardo, can you explain this, that, please? Yeah. <laughs> Did you understand? Okay, good. Let's go to the next subject. No. Okay. <laughs> so let's do it like this. Look. And you know what? This is actually very easy. Let's do sub subject noun clauses. So subject noun clause, the verb and the object. That George, whether Fred, what Mary. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say that, whether, what. That you are my wife doesn't mean you are my mother. Mm. Example. Or sometimes wives say that. That you are my husband doesn't mean that you are my owner. Yeah. You know, and that actually is sense in Spanish. El que por, ¿Cómo es que decimos? El que sea mi esposo no significa que, you know, uh -huh. que sos mi dueño. Okay, but notice how it starts with that, whether, or when. Y 
Yes. That uh, like, for example, imagine you're with your boss, but now you are on vacation, you know, like on a company vacation, you went to Hawaii, but your boss in Hawaii is still telling you what to do. Mm. Like, uh, Gio, mira, um, I need you to do this. Please bring me that. What would you tell him? Mm. Whether, whether you, can I say that? Whether you are my boss, or, no, whether we are in, in, whether you are my boss and we are in vacation doesn't mean that you are, no. Whether I would say are, that. Whether we are on vacation doesn't mean that you can <laughs> give me, yeah, you don't tell me what to do in vacation. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, that, that would be one. Yes. I know. Yes. Be, oh, you say you know because we're on vacation doesn't mean that, um, or yeah, that yeah. you are my boss doesn't mean that you are my boss in vacation too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or or imagine your 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 boss starts offending you outside of work. He starts offending you. What do you tell him? I don't tell them. I hate them. <laughs> yeah. So that you are my boss doesn't mean that I will punch you in the yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Have you, have you ever used an expression like that? El que sea mi jefe no significa que me puede tratar como quiera o... Yo he oído esos casos. El que sea mi jefe no significa que... Okay. Um, Eduardo. Look at this yeah. example. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What do you understand by that? For example, uh, yeah, I, I understand it. Uh, whether Fred is, for example, like, you know, uh, it's like, in Spanish, like, aunque. Okay. Oh, I would say el que. Yeah, el que yeah, that and exactly. whether. Uh -huh. Thank you. So when imagine, you're... imagine I tell you this, a class, I found a, man, I found the coolest job. It's from Monday to Friday, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Weekends off. I get paid $3,000 a month. And I can work from home if I want, or I can go to the office. There's no problem. It's a very good job. Whether I can get a better job, I don't know. Do you understand? No. This is an exp this is an expression like, "Hey, uh, how are you? Hey, how's your brother? How's your sister? Oh man, imagine your sister's a doctor. You know what? She's doing good." She's working, I think, I think in, in lastimosamente, unfortunately, a professional person. Um, let's say a doctor. I think the best you can do in El Salvador is to work in a, in Seguro, right? In a, in a national hospital, right? Or, or, or su propia clinica, pero... Like, pero en, en, la, en el campo de doctors, no pagan bien. Siempre pagan mejor en el nacional, right? Que un privado. Like teachers, teachers. Teachers, they make, in a public school, they maybe make like $600. But in a private school, they make $300. Yes. Y que, y aunque sea una nice, like, private school, like, high class. So you say, unfortunately, that she, uh, like, hey, how's your mother? Oh, she is working in a, she's the directora no, of, no. of el Instituto Nacional de Cantón Pepeto. Oh. That she can get a better position in El Salvador? I don't know. 
Y eso lo uno dice con sarcasmo, porque en este país tenemos que ser conformistas, ¿verdad? Right? Mm. Porque uno dice, ¿what? Está trabajando en un canto. Sí, pero ni modo. Solo ahí le salió. Like a doctor. There are some doctors working in Fos Salud for $300. Can you imagine that a doctor for $300? So when a doctor gets an opportunity to work in a seguro or a national hospital, and then you ask him, hey, ¿dónde estás hoy en el seguro? Is everything good? Eh. In El Salvador, that I can get a better job? I don't think so. Como empleado, right? <laughs> Maybe in your private clinic, yes. But like, lo que más que ofrece el país is that. Like in your job. In your job, you know. How are you? How, how are you? How, is your job okay? Yeah, I'm a supervisor. Or I, I am a director. Un director. I creo que es el tope de una empresa, ¿no, Ricardo? El director. Yes, yes. It's a, like a CEO. The CEO. The CEO. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, so how are you? Oh, I'm the CEO. Oh, good for you. You make good money? Eh, no, not really, but it's okay. I make decent money, but that I can get a better job in this industry? I don't think so. So that's how you use a subject, a subject non clause that I can. And tomorrow we're going to do the object, okay? So we can mix them. Usually it's easier to speak object, but no, 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 no hablamos muy seguido el subject. Igual en español. Mm -hmm. En español es raro que usamos el hecho que, like como Gio, the fact that you're my boss doesn't mean I will punch you in the mouth. Yeah. I used to tell that to my mother. No, I'm, I'm sorry, not punch in the mouth, no. And I say, mother, I love you and everything, but the fact that you're my mother doesn't mean that you will always control my life. I'm a big boy now. Okay? Yeah. Me puedes hacer huevitos. Yeah. Okay, so um, we'll, we'll continue doing this tomorrow, okay? Because I know that this video is, is a lot of explanation, but we'll, yeah. we'll do it tomorrow in the, in the simple way. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, class. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a have a good night, everybody. You Bye. too. Thank Bye. you. Bye.